All right, so in this video, we're going to cover creating a control point uh, that's given to you from a surveyor. Um, a lot of the times the surveyors are in a different coordinate system. So whenever you talk with your surveyor, you always want to get um, distances in reference to the actual building grid intersections. So two directions, one north south and then one east west. Um, so once you've got that information, you can come in here to calculate. And we're always going to select down and out. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. And then from there, um, if here I have just my grid line intersections on. If you don't have those on um, and you're using the auto map, which you've probably seen in one of my other videos, um, this right here would have all of your points on just so you can see. Um, we have the ability to kind of turn on everything, but we just want these grid intersections on. So we're going to come up here to layers. And we're going to uncheck this and go right down to grid and put on just the grid intersection points because that's the information we needed to go from. And then our grid on our drawing shows that this is uh, an offset from this grid intersection here down at the bottom left, which is, I think, Y1. And then it's in reference um, which way we're going to go. Uh, we can choose it will be uh, going due north. Um, so that is the location they've selected. Um, this point here, figure DXF, we're going to change that to define points. And then we want to select Y1. So we can tap here to Y1, or you can zoom in, but you just need to make sure that the cursor is actually in this box so that when you come here, then you can select it and it'll pop in. And then we can select a, um, another uh, grid. It looks like these two shift right here, so you want to be careful on when you select a direction um, so that this. Um, should be on our same grid line, which is on Y5, which is correct. And now it draws a line. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll zoom in. It draws a line from the start where we selected our start point in the direction of our second point. So we simply just say, OK, down here at the bottom. Now it's asking for a distance from this location. So whatever the surveyor gives us, if it is north of it, of the start of your line, then it is positive numbers. If it is south, then it is negative numbers. So here we have keypad entry. We are actually south. So I'm going to put in minus 48 foot 6 inches is what he put it on evenly. Say OK. And now it is going to move that dot from here south that distance. And then the keypad entry here back to it and we're going to add 60 feet because that's what it was and so now it is actually out here just like it is shown um, but if it was on the other side of the line I could simply come down here and select the right side of the line so we'll go back to the left and we're going to hit save and this should be control point number 21 is what the surveyor saved it as and actually ours is already set to that so um, go CP21 and our description should be control point because that's what it is. So we can simply hey, say store. You'd want to put in whatever that description is. If you're not creating a control point, you're actually just creating an, an offset to an existing wall or line or, or footing or whatever. Um, you'd want to put the appropriate description in there. So that's all good for us. We simply hit store point and uh, it already exists. Um, we're going to say override this. Normally you're just going to hit save and you're, you're done. But now our point is now in our, our uh, model here. And uh, yeah, that's how you generate a control point. So once we come back into our layers, we can turn in our layer that we called control point, check that on, and we will see that show up on our map. So now we have a point that is generated on our map. Um, so we have grids on and we have our control point that we created. Here's a couple others that um, were created as well. Hopefully this helps.